Coach Erebus, I just had watched you have a phone conversation on a flip phone. You are like, a, you are a simple, minimalist man. People compare you to a saint, and I love it. I love it. St. Edward, 30 point, 30 plus point lead right now, going to the finals tomorrow. Nine placers, five finalists. How are you feeling about the performance today? The kids have just busted their tail all year. It's not just uh, this tournament, but all year they've really grown together as a team. They've worked super hard. We've, our coaching has been awesome. And Coach Heffernan and the guys have just peaked these kids beautifully. And uh, well, the show is tomorrow with all the placement rounds in the, in the finals. What do you think the chances are of me getting Coach Heffernan on camera? Is that going to happen? Are you going to help me get I, that? I'm, I sure hope so. Because he, I love listening to him. He'll speak to the the team at the bank with this. That. I tell every time he speaks, he's fantastic. I'd much rather have you listening to him than me. Tell you the truth, he's awesome. Everyone I've ever talked to, and I had a bunch of teammates. You know, Kent, Kent State guys. Yep. You know, Mike Toller, his state champ for you. Nick Nemeth, now Dolph Ziggler. I talk to these guys, and that's their guy. That's their difference maker. Yeah, it There's, is. You guys had such great balance with your coaching staff and. Those guys, would, they would run through a wall and then lay in six lanes of traffic for you. Not for and, me, for the kids. It's yeah, for the it's kids. It's crazy. They just, but they love you. Yeah. They love you and they love him. And it's like you guys got this crazy chemistry and balance. How, how do you do such a thing? How, how, do you, how do you keep year after year just bringing in kids who want to be there? And How do you do it? I don't know, but I hope we keep it up. Hope we keep it up. Hope we keep it up. It's up. Uh, great tradition that we've had over there for many many years uh, and the kids expect to win they want to come there they want to learn they want to work hard I mean it's a beautiful thing watching in the room how tough how tough the practices are and how these kids want to learn and uh, we had a tremendous schedule this year and we took some of we got we got beat uh, six times by the top five teams we got beat twice by Ferris Graham this year uh, that just toughened our kids up we just took our wrestling to another level. So I'm real proud of the kids. They learned through it. it. It may have been the toughest schedule we ever put together for our team. So, and the coaching staff is just constantly, it's just, it's about the kids. It's about the kids. It's not about the coaches. It's about the kids, which is a beautiful thing. Can't do this forever. You, we are humans. Yeah. Okay, some things end for us. How much longer can we see you do this? You know, I ask Coach Jordan all the time. Yep. He's younger than you, but he wrestles a lot and does a lot of crazy stuff still. Um, how much longer? When are we going to see a replacement? How much longer for Heffern? How much longer can this incredible chemistry be carried for you guys and continue to win Division One big school titles in such a competitive division? How much longer can this last? Well, I hope it's going to last another 50 years. Um, we've got Coach Heffern, we've got Coach Gonzer, got Gus Seiko, we've got Ryan Fair, we got the Jane dad and and son, we got Nick Mann, we got Dawson. We've got guys that have been around a long time, and. And the beautiful part is, like I said, it's about the kids. And the coaches put the kids first, you know. It's not about any egos or things like that. It's really, really neat. So we just want to keep it rolling. One day at a time, one year at a time, one season at a time. Incredible streak for you guys with Division One All-Americans and All-Americans at all three levels of NCA. 28 for Division One, I, I believe, 28 years straight. You know, you're bringing back... Uh, some guys are coming back to Cleveland. They're yeah, coming home, right? We got four of them. Yes, we got uh, Heil. He's coming back from Okie State. Okay, he's going to try and win his third. We got uh, Avenator at Michigan. He took third in the Big Ten. So be his uh, third or fourth time at the Nationals. I can't remember. Fourth. Fourth. And he's Big Ten champ. Yeah, and then um, we got Colin Half, who's overcome a heck of a lot of injuries. And um, he took third. He gave the, the guy that had won from Missouri one heck of a match. They said it was an incredible match at the max. And um, who else we got? Marcus Scheidel, who won his conference tournament at Columbia. So we've got four guys there, and we hope to have uh, four All-Americans. That would be awesome. It's not all about All-Americans for you and, and Ws. You're just like a guy who's like, all these guys that I know are like complete humans. Yeah. They're either they're, they're fathers, they're great fathers, they're professionals, they're at the highest end of their profession. All the guys who are my teammates, right? Yeah, yep. Whether it's Jeremy Orsky doing body work, yeah, th yeah. that guy's a successful businessman. Sure, man. sure. I look at that, and how do you guys teach that? How do you instill these values? Well, I tell you what, Coach Heff always preaches to the kids that this stuff is going to end. It's going to end. And uh, same thing Coach Ferguson always used to say, use this sport, don't let the sport use you. Use it to open doors for college. Use it. 
you know, and, and then of course the, the great, great coaches have always talked about all the fantastic, uh, all the fantastic lessons there are in wrestling. It just, if they use those lessons that they learn in wrestling in their personal life, wow. No wonder why so many CEOs were former wrestlers uh, in, in the United States. I just talk, I spoke to another guy that wrestled in Michigan, and he just told me um, he's got five guys working for him, five engineers at, in his company, all wrestlers. He said he'll hire a wrestler in a heartbeat. So it's pretty neat. What a beautiful sport. All right, you got guys to coach up. They're making yep. away. You got anything else for me? That's it. This thanks for covering the sport so well. Thanks, Zeb. Okay, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys tomorrow. Yes, sir. Thank you.